When did you last look at some sea? Come on, let's go and see what we can find. They come in all shapes and sizes. They can be hard and knobbly, spiky or smooth and shiny. They can have parachutes or wings. They can be really large like conkers or walnuts or coconut. Or they can be really tiny like the poppy seeds you might see on a loaf of bread or oilseed rape seed that we grow on the farm. Some you'll find inside berries and fruit. Others will eat like beans and sweet corn. And every single seed has all the information inside it that determines what type of plant it will grow into and when and how it will grow. Watching a seed sprouting and growing is like a miracle as roots and shoots sprout and then the leaves follow. And planted in the right place, the plant will grow and grow and become home for other organisms. Did you know that a mature oak tree can support 2,300 different species of organisms? From a tiny acorn, a mighty oak tree grows. Jesus told the story about a seed, a tiny seed, a mustard seed. We don't grow mustard on our farm, but we do grow oilseed rape. Look how tiny it is. The seed I planted sprouted in a couple of days and started to grow. If we wait till next summer, it will grow taller than me. Jesus said that the kingdom of heaven is like a tiny seed however small and insignificant it may look. When it's planted in the right conditions, nurtured by the Holy Spirit, it will grow into a beautiful, amazing, life-giving place where all peoples can live and flourish and produce more kingdom seed.